Hello, 8th grade students, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So last week, we started with the lesson solar system object, and we are going to be continuing the rest of the lesson during this week. So last week, we talked about the objects that we can find in the solar system, such as the sun, the planets, their moons. We talked about the unit that scientists use, which is the astronomical unit, to measure the distance in the solar system and we compared between the sun and the planets from features and what they were and and how the planet orbits the sun and the, the sun is in the middle we also talked about smaller objects found in space such as meteors comets and we also talked about what is a dwarf planet, and we said Pluto is a dwarf planet since it is kind of drifted due to gravity. As for this week, we are going to be talking about the sun precisely and what it contains, such as the hydrogen and helium and plasma. They are all found in the gaseous body of the sun. The sun interior has three zones, the convection zone, the radiative zone, and the core. So from its name, the convection, it is the outermost layers in the sun's interior, and it has the cooling zone. So it is due to the convection, which is a process of cooling. And we also have the radiative zone, which gives out radiation or gamma rays, which is a form of electromagnetic radiation. So this is why this is called a radio radio radiative zone. As for the core from its name, it's going to be in the middle and it is large, it has a large mass due to the gravitational force. Also we are going to be talking about the sun's atmosphere the photosphere, the chromosphere, and the corona. They are the inner layer of the sun's atmosphere, and we are going to be discussing the different features of the sun, such as sunspots, prominences, and solar flares. And as a conclusion of this whole lesson, we are going to be talking about the solar system formation and how 4.6 billion years ago, the solar system was formed in different processes due to a cloud of hydrogen, helium, rock, and ice, and other materials. And as usual, we are going to assess ourselves using online quizzes and interactivities. And that is it for this week. Thank you so much, 8th graders.